So the Baltimore Ravens tried, but they failed to sign this player. What are they to do now? What direction should they go in? Well, we're going to talk about that shortly. But before we do, we tried to give away Ravens Eagles preseason tickets to the game this week. But y'all acting like we're giving away like Browns or Bengals or Commanders tickets or something like that. We even picked a winner and everything. But guess what? He didn't respond to me. He didn't reply. I replied to him and told him he went, told him what to do. I got nothing in return. So what do we have to do? We got to move on and pick somebody else. So we're going to try this again. If you would like to be entered into the giveaway for Ravens and Eagles tickets, we're giving away two tickets. All you got to do is super, super simple. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have your notifications turned on. And also share this video out and comment the funniest thing that happened to you all this week. Super, super simple. That's it. And I will pick a winner today by 5 p.m. Not necessarily at 5 p.m., but by 5 p.m. Eastern time today. I will pick a winner so you can get yourself set. But please be paying attention to your replies. Please be paying attention to your comments. So when I reply to you and tell you you won, you can know what to do next. So let, let's get this thing done anyway. The Baltimore Ravens. Like my guy, he won yesterday, but he didn't get the job done. Neither did the Baltimore Ravens. So maybe he was following in their footsteps because this kind of went under the radar. Adam Schefter reported that former Dolphins and Cowboys center Connor Williams agreed, uh, reached an agreement on a one-year deal worth up to $6 million, including $3 million guaranteed with the Seattle Seahawks. The deal was negotiated and confirmed by Drew Rosenhaus and Ryan Matha. So, um, the Baltimore Ravens, they were talking to him a couple of days ago, and they had an offer on the table for him and everything. And we talked about, like, he would have to choose between the Ravens and the Seahawks. Those are the two teams that were actively pursuing him. So, he had to choose between Mike McDonald and John Harbaugh, and he decided to go to Seattle. What were the reasons, though? Well, we don't know for sure, but like we mentioned the other day, some things that uh, he would have to think about when choosing between the two teams What's my playing time going to look like? What's my role going to be on this team? If the Ravens were to keep him at center, then he obviously would be a backup. But we figured, like, and a lot of y'all figured, too, in the comment section that the Baltimore Ravens, if they were to sign him, they will not keep him at center because obviously they got our guy Linder Flinder, one of the best centers in the league, Tyler Linderbaum. So they were going to kick him out to either left guard or right guard because there's Crazy competition right there right now. It's super up in the air uh, who the Baltimore Ravens guards are going to be. There's been talk about Voorhees. Voorhees has been a favorite to be a left guard. So he might have that on lock, it seems. Because every time you hear about the offensive line, they talk about Voorhees being a left guard. So it seems like from the middle to the left side of the offensive line is set. It seems like it. It ain't official official. But it seems like it's going to be Linda Baum at center. Voorhees at left guard and obviously Ronnie Stanley at right tackle. Now the right side uh, it is to be determined, but uh, it's, it, from everything we heard, it sounds like it's going to be Roger Rosengard, but, but we'll see. But right guard is where there's so much competition because it's been guys like Ben Cleveland. It's been guys like Sala. It's been guys like Falele. Uh, so it, it, it's up in the air. So we figured that that could have been where Connor Williams went to that right guard position. So that could have been set. He could have held that down. But he ain't even coming to the Ravens anymore. So now the Baltimore Ravens are back to square one. Now, initially, when they were, they offered uh, Connor Williams a deal. So it made us wonder, man, is Tyler Linderbaum's injury really a little more serious than we were led to believe? Hopefully not. That's still to be determined. He has still missed the last couple of practices. So we'll see when he comes back. Hopefully he comes back soon. Not too soon, but really straight up. I mean, Harbaugh said it like Tyler Linderbaum doesn't need these reps. In preseason, he doesn't need the reps for training camp like that. I mean, obviously, he want to be in football shape, but Tyler Linderbaum, he knows the offense. He's a big part of the offense. His job is his job, and he'll be straight. Like, he knows how to do his job, and he does it very well. So Tyler Lind Linderbaum is going to be good to go. But um, this was them trying to sign him a sign of them just wanting a replacement center for Linderbaum for now? I don't think, think so. I think it was a lot more than that. I think it was them just really trying to get upgrade the offensive line, especially at right guard. I think the Ravens, they took a look at their situation, and they were like, hmm, well, <laughs> this ain't it right now. <laughs> we, <laughs> we need some answers right now. We got a lot of questions, but we need more answers. And with him, I think maybe, again, maybe he was going to get more of an opportunity, uh, maybe a more confirmed opportunity with the Seattle Seahawks. Or, you know what, straight up, it could have came down to money too. 
Because while this deal is not crazy, I think Ravens got like a little over five million cap space. Now, again, like we always say, if you want to make something happen, you can make it happen. Um, but again, a one year deal worth up to six million dollars, including three mil guarantee. That's it. That's it. So, again, if, if they wanted to make it happen, even if they wanted to move some money around, they could have done that to, to fit him under the cap and still have some room left over. It would have been fine. But uh, he chose Seattle for whatever reason. So now the Ravens, they got to move on.